You guys ready? Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Hey, everybody. I'm here with Josh and Chris today. Um, today, we're going to be chatting about the future of the Oxen project and what our major vision is for the next few years of the project. We've been sitting around and having a lot of discussions internally over the last couple of months about this. Um, and today, we're here to share that vision with you. So welcome, fellas. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Yeah. So let's jump right into it. What is the vision for Oxen over the next couple of years? I mean, all our plans are pretty much designed to feed back into session one way or another. Um, Sessions had great growth recently. Um, It's been growing really rapidly. Since the beginning of the year, it's had close to 500% growth um, with averaging around almost 4.5% growth weekly since the beginning of the year. Um, So with that in mind, it just makes sense to really focus all of our cards on session right now. And that doesn't mean we're going to completely ignore the rest of the, the products. We have a whole bunch of exciting products. We have Session, we have LokiNet, uh, we have the Oxen Coin itself. Um, and all of our products tie in together. Um, it's specifically sort of made that way. So like for instance, um, you know, implementing voice and video calls require us to do a lot of work on LokiNet and integrate that across into Session. So by doing this work on LokiNet, it makes session better and causes more user growth for session so the focus for the next couple years is definitely going to be building out session with our other products in ways that continue to drive that sort of user growth and adoption so then you know down the line when we have a a really substantial user base we can add in monetization and bring that value back into the oxen community so obviously the growth is going excellently with session, but can you explain a little bit more how the focus on session is actually going to benefit Oxen overall? So monetization is the biggest way that session can help feed back into Oxen. Um, the way we plan to monetize session is, is specifically designed to help feed back into the Oxen ecosystem. So we've kind of created multiple avenues um, in where increased user numbers will mean increased amounts of oxen being burnt. Um, And so that's definitely the main way in which it directly translates back to value coming back into the oxen ecosystem. But then the other aspect as well is just more exposure all around. Because, you know, with Session already getting great, great user growth, and having it like primed to explode just creates more ways that there can be more eyes on Oxen as a whole. Like even, even just now with the, the numbers that we're getting, we're getting new, like thousands of new users flocking to session every week. Um, if we funnel these things correctly, that's thousands of new eyes on the Oxen project with more, depending on how much more we can get sessions growth to be. Um, so monetization and exposure are the main ways in how session can feed value back towards Oxen. We, we also have uh, we also have a few small things like in the application you'll see like built by Oxen, and we look to sort of um, bring Oxen uh, give it give Oxen a little bit more attention to the session communities in the future as well um, because it. It's, it's justified, you know, um, it's all here because of Oxen and it's great to give something back to Oxen in the community. Growing, like growing these numbers, having like these large uh, channels in session, like it's all a uh, minimal byproduct test for Oxen. It is all, um, those numbers mean that Oxen is delivering uh, like new technology. Like every 100,000 users is a test on the network. Can you explain a little bit more about how monetization is going to work and how that will specifically bring value back to Oxen as well. Yeah, so I guess um, directly uh, as session grows, as we tip over, hopefully over the next 12 months, we tip over the 1 million user number and then from there it just continues to go. Um, 
if we're able to monetize less than 5% of users or about that sort of figure uh, for, for around between three to $5 per subscription, uh, that any sort of profit from that will go directly to buying Oxen off the uh, open market. So we should see a constant buy pressure for Oxen thanks to uh, Session and its users and what he brings to the network. And then the OPTF2 will be burning that oxen as well. So that will directly um, offset the overall oxen emissions that are being created by the service node network. So what does all of this mean for the rest of oxen's projects? We'll start with LokiNet. LokiNet will be, over the next year, year and a half, um, LokiNet will be a sort of supporting tool mainly for session. We will still be supporting LokiNet uh, in smaller ways from, on different platforms so people can use it as a VPN, but it takes a lot of energy and effort to really um, go hard on multiple projects at once. And we, we see that just focusing on Session as the primary, uh, LokiNet as the secondary, and OXUSD is sort of on the back burner at this point in time. Um, we just want to achieve something great. We want to build something new. We want to build Session, Session the private messaging application. Um, and we know that over the next two years, if we put a lot of effort in and we keep going down this trajectory, we're going to have multiple millions of users. But that's also not to say that the other projects are going to be completely, you know, left by the wayside or dead in the water. Because, you know, as I was saying before, when you work on LokiNet integration into session uh, with voice and video calls, not only are you adding that capability to LokiNet, but now you're making it easier, you know, by integrating LokiNet into session, you're making LokiNet easier to integrate everywhere else as well. Um, that's the same with, you know, the, the Oxen Wallet 3. By working on that, it makes it really easy to integrate the wallets right into session, but that also makes it easier to integrate into anything else as well. So even though everything that we're doing is going to be focused more towards session, um, it's still beneficial for those those projects in the long run. It's not like they're completely stalling um, while we're working on Session. Well, what stood out about Session and made it the clear choice to be the focus for Oxen over other strategies or other product, uh, other, other projects? The, the growth rate of Session has just been really promising. It shows that there's a clear demand for the product. I mean, we have increasingly more users flocking to it every day. Um, so to not take advantage of that situation would just be silly of us. Um, and the way that the current user numbers are going, uh, you know, we're pretty confident that we can eventually offset all the, the oxen emissions. Um, so it, it just makes more sense to focus on session considering that's the project that people are resonating with more at the moment. In terms of time, when will we start to see the effects of session monetization? So uh, if you go off the graph in the recent article, um, it's not saying 12 months we will get um, complete sort of de a deflationary currency. Um, probably be like another six or so months after that. It could be six to 12 months after that. Um, you don't really need to become an entirely deflationary currency to be successful. Um, the amount of sort of the amount of oxen that's you know lost every day, or a lot of people are staking. If you if you look like fifty percent of the oxen is staked, so uh, it just sort of creates sort of a flowing economy um, that supports the service node network. So even honestly, even if it was like five thousand a day, that would be great. It's it's within our it's within our reach. Although five thousand oxen every day is not that much. If you sort of like if you sort of work that out over a year, it's quite a bit of oxen. 1.82 million oxen, um, burning 5,000 oxen a day. It's a lot of oxen. Excellent. I think that is pretty much everything for today. Thanks for sitting down with me, Josh and Chris. Uh, it's been lovely chatting to you. As per usual, if you've got any questions for us, we are in the community channels pretty much 24 seven. So you can come and chat to us either on session, the app we're talking about today or in Telegram. Um, look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, guys. That was really great. Uh, I'm glad that we can get these points across. I hope that it's in a more of an understandable format for the people. Um, and yeah, it's exciting. We'll see you next time.